Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with an update on the Urban Worm Bag. This is version two. And we fed that huge acorn squash last week, so I'm eager to see how they're doing with that. So, I'm gonna get this peeled back. We have climbers and some moisture on the top. But it's not terrible, so let me um, do my usual ugh, navigation of the light here so we can see real well in here. And I'm going to knock these guys off the walls. Not that they're doing any harm, but we want them to be working for us in the bin, not climbing up the walls. The moisture content is has a huge role with that, that if there's a lot of that condensation buildup, it kind of encourages them to explore. I mean, worms have no eyes, so they just follow moisture. So here's one half of that acorn squash. It's actually really soft. I did not expect that. So maybe they have gotten into it. So let's see, we're gonna pull it back slowly. Oh, it's falling apart on me. Whoa. And looky here, got a whole bunch of seeds down here, which is fine. I left them in for fun, but I thought I would have more than that little pocket of worms, but the acorn squash is softening up a good deal. Here we go. They're underneath where all of those juices are being released. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so let's see if I can flip this over without having it fall apart on me, but that's still pretty good, pretty cool. All right, now let's get over here, and here's the other half. This half is lifting up a little easier, and I don't know if you guys see that. But similar deal, they're kind of all underneath of it. Oh, and it's falling apart on me as well. I'm really surprised that it's as soft as it is. And we have red wigglers in on the party as well as the uh, European night crawlers that we added in here. So I'm just gonna turn this back over, cover it back up as best I can because they'll definitely get into this more. There's a European nightcrawler over there. Seeing a few little bits and pieces of um, mold and that could be from the grains or just from some of the bedding getting a little bit um, moist and not breaking down fast enough but it's not really anything to be concerned about. Here's that lemon Still not really breaking down, but I'm gonna bust it open some more. So we'll give that another week to work. So I'm gonna try to remember putting it over here, burying it back up. It smells nice and uh, lemony. So, not so sure I'm gonna feed because first of all, we have a lot of moisture built up in here and the worms still have quite a bit to work through. So we'll peek back in this corner, which seems to have a lot of worms in it as well. They seem to be really spread out, which is actually very beneficial because then they're gonna process a lot faster if they're kind of processing evenly across the surface. So I could not be more happy with this. I'm not going to do anything at all today. I'm just going to um, leave them as is to work for another week. So uh, let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.